Okay, so now let's update Hammer with the new FGD we just downloaded. We'll go up to Tools, Options. We see here under Game Data Files we have our old one, Half-Life 2 MP FGD. We don't want that, so we will remove it. And we'll click Add. And browse for our new one. It should take you right to the bin folder. This is the one we downloaded, HL2RAE108B. Open that. There it is. And OK. OK, now that we've put our new FGD file into Hammer, let's go back to the change log and see if those changes actually happened. The first one we looked at was removing these non functional entities, such as environment rotor wash. In Hammer, when we looked for it before, it was in this list. Now if we look for it, it's not there. It would be between those two. Back to our change log. The next change we looked at was adding new flags to the environment blood entity. So back in Hammer, if we select this entity we already created, Alt Enter, bring up the object properties, and we go to the Flags tab. So now we can see that more flags have been added, which gives us uh, more ability to tweak the entity's properties directly within the Hammer interface. The last change we looked at, which was adding new entities, such as Spark Shower. We select our entities and we should be able to find Spark Shower in here now. And there it is right there. Remember that this entity existed before. We simply couldn't tell Hammer to place it or how it should behave in our new level. Okay, so for fun, let's see what this Spark Shower actually looks like. Um, I've created just a little Hammer level here. I want to be able to see my 3D view. And it's just a simple room with uh, a player's start and a rocket launcher. So now let's create the spark shower entity. So we have it over here. We'll select entities. And we'll just click to create it. We can hit I'll enter to see the properties. Right now it has nothing inputting or outputting or tying to it. So it should just start on spawn. Uh, let's move it up just a little bit. So we can see it. Okay, we'll, we'll go to file, run map. Okay to that. It's going to compile it and open it in Half-Life. And there are the sparks. Just for fun, I'm going to commit suicide. Ouch. And I'm dead. So on spawn, we should see the sparks again. And there they go. Okay, so we just saw the spark shower. Um, by itself, not attached to anything else. With a point template entity, you could tie them together and tell the spark shower to repeat itself or have it go at different intervals. You know, that way you can make it look like it's coming out of, say, an electrical socket or a wire or something. Um, for more information on Hammer and dealing with entities in Hammer, check out Noesis Interactive's Advanced Level Design DVD. So it's a good idea to regularly check for FGD updates so that you can keep Hammer working to the best of its abilities. If you're interested in creating custom entities, you'll need to update the FGD script file itself. For this and other great topics, check out noesisinteractive.com.